Okay, this is the Nephron model. So we have the cortex out here, and then we have the medulla down here. So we'll start with the arcuate artery and vein. Okay, those run between the cortex and the medulla. And then we can do the interlobulars, or what we call the cortical radiate artery and vein. And we'll just go ahead and branch from this um, cortical radiate artery, and it comes off. This becomes the afferent arteriole going into the corpuscle, and then the efferent arteriole coming out okay, of the corpuscle. And we can go up and look at this one. That efferent arteriole comes out, and branches to become this paratubular network, but we call this on this model the um, cortex. I mean, I'm sorry, the capillary bed of the cortex. Okay, and then the little green dots you can call them corpuscles. It's actually that outer portion of the corpuscle called the glomen. I mean, the Bowman's capsule. The glomerulus is inside there, um, and then uh, let's see, attached here, okay, to that corpuscle, the orange is going to represent our um, proximal convoluted tubule, proximal, okay, it's closer to that glomerulus, um, or closer really to that corpuscle. So that's going to be our PCT, and then the um, loop of Henle is going to be right here, attached, comes down. The descending loop of Henle will be the orange, and then we have this thin segment of the loop of Henle that's thinner, and then this is going to be the ascending loop. Okay, ascending loop of Henle, and then we have the distal convoluted tubule, that's the purple, DCT, and then that is going to empty into the yellow structure, which is the collecting duct. So all of this is the collecting duct. And then down here we have the capillary bed of the medulla, because remember all of this is medulla.